Hello everyone, in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how I edit this photo. Uh, the process of the retouch is this. This is the background layer. This is the frequency separation. I'm going to show you this frequency separation. Uh, this is the uh, high frequency. This is the high frequency and this is the low frequency. Uh, for example, this one we don't need it. We can delete it for this case. Uh, here is the skin retouch. I'm turning off. This is the before and this is the after. Uh, okay. Turn off this one. As you can see, this is the frequency separation uh, of the skin and uh, even the, the face. You can see it's not uh, much retouching here, just some some details, but we have more work to do to the skin of the legs. And we can turn close it. Uh, this is the dodge and burn. The overall dodge and burn. Before and after. Uh, the dodge and burn. This is the color correction. Okay. This is the color correction. If you can see the change before and after, after this I create a merged layer of all the effects, some liquefy to the face, nothing more. You can see if I made any liquefy to the legs, you see here just this this one here some change here and to the face okay another step if you see the skin here oh, sorry. see the skin Maybe before and after I don't know if you see anything, but I'm going to show you in camera row what I'm going to do. You go to the camera row. Uh -huh. Camera row here. And then back. Just to explain you, if you if you use camera row and after you go again and use this here, this one here you apply again the same settings you made for the best, uh, best time you open camera row. Uh, let me show you an example. For example, in this case I'm gonna I'm gonna sharpening my photo, this photo. See and I'm gonna add some grain because I, I want to create the, uh, the effect of the skin texture fake skin texture uh, many photographers use this this technique there are, there are other techniques uh, and I'm going to press ok if I go again here and click camera row automatically, uh, the Photoshop adds the same value, the double. So in this case, it's the double. I press back because I don't want so much. Uh, and uh, uh, the, the photo is retouched now, it's over, but I want to add some light and some 
with curves. Uh, first, I let me show for for the beginning. Okay, add some light and we take down the shadows. Just to add, just to add more contrast to the the whole to all the image. Just to add more contrast to the image, to the picture. You see, this is a huge difference. Thank you.